Hey, my name is Chris Michael. I'm the community paramedic in Boston Bar. I've got a great healthcare team. They've been really, really supportive and they've made it really easy to, to you know, see some success with the program so far. Uh, my favorite person on the planet, Chris, is a new program to the area, but has been around the province for quite some time. It's the opportunity to have paramedics be into the field, into the houses of people struggling with issues, trying to then be essentially hands and feet and eyes and ears into the community. It's 76, that's good. And then it says pulse oximetry, and that's 94. So that's 94% of uh, oxygen. oxygen saturation, yeah. And so with the addition of the community paramedic program and specifically Chris, people now get more days of the week where they get access to healthcare that they would have never had before. Yeah, so your blood pressure is not bad, a little high, but it's okay. The paramedics in general are responsive. When you have a problem, they'll go and go to you, but there was no proactive nature of the kind of services that were needed. It speaks of the need in the community and the fact that because of Chris and who he is, as well as the program itself, people start to realize just how good they could have it compared to what they've had before. It's instrumental to the kind of care that every community needs across the province. It's been really positive, you know, getting into the community and uh, Everyone's been very supportive of the program. I think they all feel like it's something that they really need up here. You know, even being the first community paramedic in Fraser Health has been, uh, you know, an awesome opportunity. He sees me more or less more often than anybody else does, okay? Nurse, practitioner, if we all go down, we book an appointment. If, if Chris can spot something that's not right, then maybe he can t uh, tell Dr. Green and we'll get an appointment ASAP. Yeah, you know, you feel a little bit short of breath there, right? Yeah, it, it, you know, if you, you just sit down and you try not to use your puffer. Did you start taking that medication? Yeah, I've been taking it, and so far the last, uh, since last time it happened, we haven't had any more problems. I, I just wish everyone in the entire world was like Chris. He's just perfect for the job. Also, we're at Family Place today. This is a senior's lunch in Boston Bar. I come here usually a couple times a month and check people's blood pressure. It's a nice chance to sit down and talk, have a meal with everyone. It's good to get my presence known in the community, um, good to meet people in the community. He's a very reasonable uh, individual, eh? He's not closed-minded. So this is a green sleeve and they use them in Fraser Health. Oh yeah. So I just put your medical history in there. Yeah, yeah. So in case the ambulance ever needs to come. Boom, boom. I met Chris uh, through the Fat Jack's restaurant uh, when he came in to eat. Started a conversation and uh, I automatically liked the guy and I liked what he was uh, representing. Yeah, we discussed that this morning. We talked uh, about that this morning, yeah. <laughs> but I, I thought I'd give that to you. And, okay, yeah. right on. Yeah, no, I'll use it. It's more of a retired community. Since the mill has gone down and the logging industry is depleted, the population in this area is uh, depleted by 50%. There's a lot of influx of uh, elderly individuals in this area, and uh, this kind of communication, I think, is uh, excellent. He's a very good person. Yeah, he's got a good heart.